What's going on, Cam? Hey, what's up, Coach? How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. It's nice to awesome. meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, yeah. They, what's up? Oh, I was going to say, do they call you Coach T? Uh, they'll call me, usually call me Coach Milbert. Okay, uh, cool, cool. But, I just but, wanted to know. Honestly, throughout my whole life, I've been called different different names, whether it's uh, Big T, whether it's Coach Milbert, uh, T Mil, uh, just Milbert, just my last name. It's uh, yeah, whatever anyone calls me, I'll accept it and just enjoy it. So, <laughs> all right, sweet, yeah, sweet. Open to anything. Coach T works, man. Yeah, I like Coach T to be honest. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. Try when I joined that live earlier, I was like, uh, you're like Coach T. I was like, whoa. Haven't heard that before, but I'll, I'll yeah. take it, you know? So. Sweet, yeah. Hey, man, well, th thanks for joining. Uh, again, sorry for the delay. For me. little tripod no tripod snap. So. Uh, yeah. But all right, man, let me start with my little intro. Uh, forgive me if I uh, mispronounce the last name, but I'm, I've been working no on worries. it. So, <laughs> all right. My name's Tyler Milbert. I'm here with Cameron Febrez uh, from Pueblo High School in Tucson, Arizona. And this is Inside the Mind of an Athlete. First off, how'd I do? I think you did good. You did okay. good. A lot of people, there's a lot of different things people say, free brez, free brez. Yeah. 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 All That's, kinds. So. Honestly, like when, I, when I saw it, I said, that could go any way. So I, <laughs> yeah. I made sure I asked earlier. Yeah. Nah, no worries. Uh, all right, Cam. So uh, you play volleyball in Tucson. How long have you been doing that for? I've been playing school volleyball since sixth grade, and I started playing competitively in club summer before sophomore year. Okay. What got you so, interested in volleyball? Well, I was always a natural. It, I was an athletic kid growing up, played every sport um, that my middle school would offer. So in sixth grade, I actually made it on the eighth grade team, and um, I actually started. So my coach was very impressed. And then come, come freshman year, my coach asked me, um, he was like, you know what, you've come a long way, so you can either be captain of JV or fight for a spot in varsity. I wanted to fight for a spot in varsity. Um, and... Once I did, once I got a spot in varsity, I got a got a starter spot. I just kind of like loved the sport ever since. Yeah. And um, a, a team member from my school said I should try to join club, and then that's where it went. That's yeah. that summer I joined. So for sure. And uh, clubs clubs fun, man. So it's oh you're yeah. Pl you're playing with studs from all over the all over the state. So all over the country is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. I, I'm glad you said you mentioned you could be a you could be a captain for JV or you could mm. fight for a spawn of varsity and you chose fight for a spawn of varsity. And, uh, I I've known many kids growing up that would say, Hey, I'll have more fun on JV. Uh, it's yeah. more relaxed there. And, uh, my, my advice to them is exactly what you did. And it's go, go fight for that spot. You don't need to exactly. set, set up for JV, go fight and get that, uh, get that, um, just, <laughs> Just that practice down and, and that fight and that heart for the game down. So, Yeah, I mean, I've always had a strong mindset because of my dad. Um, I played all sports, basketball, soccer. I even did um, football before uh, when I was in elementary. Um, track, yeah, soccer, volleyball, basketball, soccer, all those. And, and my dad, usually come track season, I worked out a lot. It was more track um, that I'd work out on. Uh, but my dad taught me just a mindset. He drilled it into my, to my head that you need to work to be the best, you're never going to be the best. And so, and then being the underdog in volleyball, which I've always have been the shortest guy um, from Pueblo, we're a strong team, but we've always been the shortest. Um, so it's been things like that. And then when I got that opportunity, I was like, there's no way I'm going to be on JV. Right. I told him, I said, give me a day to think about it. But I had already set my mind that yeah. I was going to fight for a spot in varsity. Good. So. Good. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm born and raised in New Hampshire. Uh, that's where I played all my middle school, high school games. We had a thing out there where I, I'm from Southern New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. uh, when it came playoff time, we would we would get seated with the the Northern New Hampshire, the White Mountains, uh, ball clubs up there. Now moving out to Arizona and now coaching in the Phoenix area, yeah, it's kind of like the same thing with the Tucson teams. So like Phoenix, Tucson, and uh, they don't really play each other during the regular season, but come playoff yeah, no. time, they'll meet. Um, uh -huh. What what is kind of your Tucson's view, not just your view, Tucson's view of like the Phoenix teams? Like, is it kind of like that? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, we well for us Tucson guys, we know and we've seen, especially come regional time, 
uh, like for club. But even in school, we all know, oh, the, the Phoenix kids are the, the big guys. Yeah. Like you have to, you have to fight your way at Tucson at the Tucson level. And then you can go fight the even bigger dogs who okay. are just, you know, ready to take it to you. Yeah. So w us, us Tucson guys know Phoenix, Phoenix guys, you know, got what it takes. That's cool. That's so. cool to hear. Cause I've always wanted to hear what was on the other side of that. Like, I wonder oh, yeah. how, how Tucson feels. So it's funny that you say that. And uh, it, it's, just, it's just cool. So, yeah. Um, all right. So I first saw you play volleyball at the tournament down in Tucson. And yeah. when we finally got to play Pueblo, we're like, yo, watch out for this kid. He, <laughs> he doesn't leave the court. He'll get the ball whenever he needs it, whenever they need a point. And, uh, it's just really funny that when I go to see my guys play uh, club ball, you're on their team, you know? I know. So yeah, how, it's how awesome. did you get hooked up with Rush? Okay, so I started with APV, Arizona Premier Volleyball. And our, I guess the way I would say is our communication just wasn't all that there. It wasn't. Um, so me and my parents for uh, my last, last club full season, we were like, maybe I can move. Um, help strengthen a team. Uh, I knew I had what it took to fight with Phoenix kids. Um, like I said, I've always had a hard, strong mindset. So I'm never the kind of person to be like, oh, well, since I'm the, the, lower, the lower dog, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, scrunch up in a little ball. I'm going to be out there and fight, especially being at only six foot one. You know, yeah. that's, as, as an outsider here, it's a, it's a hard one. But um, <laughs> I, you know, I have to tell myself I'm going to be able to fight with any team in Phoenix, like I can, I can join whatever team and you have to believe that and you got to work for it. Right. So when I was finding a team, I didn't mind being on an underdog team. I didn't, it, it was just, I want to be on a fun team. That's going to work hard. And I went to rush. I went to rush Tucson tryouts and rush in queen Creek rush. Queen Creek had, had my eyes more than like fear or aspire. Um, and so I tried out with them. I even went to APV tryouts. I decided to do that as well, just to say that I did. And I loved, I absolutely <laughs> loved Rush and Queen Creek. The guys there, they were very welcoming. No one was the jealous type, like, oh, who's this new guy who's, who's good and can and fight? They didn't look down on me. Um, they, they became family quick. So yeah. when I joined, oh, man, it, it was awesome. <laughs> it was amazing. And then just as a bonus, Rush Queen Creek was 12th in, region, in the state. And we fought and we got fourth place in the, yeah. in the state, which was awesome. So. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were one heck of a ball club. It was, uh, it was yeah, really cool. We seeing. Uh, and for those of you watching uh, Tucson to Queen Creek is a good hour, hour and a half. So yeah, hour 40. Yeah. So this kid's committed to, to playing volleyball. And like he said, <laughs> uh, yeah. the queen, the Queen Creek team was more of a family to you and that's why you chose him overall. So mm -hmm. yeah. And my dad had no, tr uh, no problem driving. He didn't. Yeah. My, my dad loves driving. Like uh, if we were going on a, on a trip, vacation, he drives. So him knowing that I love this and that I was dedicated towards it, he had no problem right. uh, driving me over there. So awesome. I thank my parents a lot on that part. Yeah. Yeah. Family, family support is definitely important and uh, awesome yeah. to have. So that's, definitely that's great that you have it. Um, yeah. So speaking of the Queen Creek team being a family, uh, you have – signed and committed to playing d1 volleyball uh in lebanon illinois at mckendry university uh, yes, for, for the bearcats uh during yeah. your during your signing we had a few of our boys actually travel down to tucson to yeah to uh, see you so how, how was that kind of where you were always traveling down to to queen creek or up to queen creek to play with them now mm -hmm. for your big day they're traveling down to see you sign it was such a blessing. Uh, well, first of all, I had a huge turnout at my school. It, the, they said it was the biggest turnout Pueblo has ever had. Yeah. Um, and it's very rare as well to, to have a, a Pueblo high school um, student go D1, right. um, as, especially at my 6'1 disadvantage, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but it was, man, okay, so when I, when I heard from Justin, it was Justin that said, oh, we're making it happen. Yeah. He was the most committed one. <laughs> um, Kyler, he definitely wanted to go. I know Marius and Hiram wanted to go. Um, I can't, I think Marius went, but Hiram couldn't. Um, but, but I got Tate there. Um, and man, it, it was so awesome to see them walk in the gym. Right. They came in, they came in at the back right doors and the, all the, all the, all the Mexican kids at, at Pueblo <laughs> were there. And these 
big tall guys walk in and everyone looks at them like who the heck are they <laughs> but i i knew who they were yeah. and i i was like i yelled across the gym i waited for them before before i started my little speech and before the whole thing began yeah. and i was like my boys and then they came over <laughs> it was such like a heartwarming moment they had yeah. to leave like right after but the fact that they could stay for a good like 30 to 50 minutes was just awesome yeah yeah once uh I got into practice. Coaches like right away. Hey, these guys are missing. They're down in Tucson for camp. So I was like, yeah, "That's <laughs> yeah, cool." Ju- that's Justin cool. told me he was like, "Dude, I talk about you sometimes at practice. Like, you know, <laughs> he wishes I was there." And I sometimes wish that too. Like, I wish I lived in Phoenix or Queen Creek where I could go play with this team and make it to state and do something amazing. Yeah. Um, but I mean, again, I I learn a lot more sometimes when I'm when I'm with the underdogs and and there's right. more hard work that needs to be put in. Yeah. So for sure, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and and like that could be where you get your grip from too, you know, knowing that. Uh, yeah. Not I'm not putting your team down at all, but knowing you kind of have oh, to no step worries. up and be that man, and uh, yeah. uh, that if if you're not balling out, if if Cam's not on his game all game long, we could possibly mm-hmm. go down. So to yeah. have that kind of on your shoulders, I think, uh, have all, has also helped you kind of get to that D1 level. Definitely, I I think everything that I've done has just lined up perfectly to to get a coach to look at me and say, and God bless the coaches at McKendree because they saw something in me and usually people don't, you know, they look for the height, they look for right. other stuff yeah. that are more showing, but they saw I had heart. They saw I had that aggressiveness and yeah, it definitely paid off. Yeah. And a <laughs> yeah. 67 inch vertical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The guys always joke about that. Uh, like you fly crazy. Yeah. You yeah, fly. I appreciate that. No I work problem. hard for that one. That's yeah. For sure. I believe it. You got any, any tips yeah. for, uh, kids watching or will watch that want to jump higher yeah um so i guess the main thing i would say is there's like there's many things that you want to hit on your legs so quads is a huge one calves i would say would be the second to huge one uh, a lot of squats a lot of box jumps um and even sprinting sprint i i hate running running yeah. track in middle school i hated it but yeah a lot of that and then you a lot of visual things as well um i've come a long way because before every game, I take a moment to like visualize plays. I visualize um, mistakes that can go wrong in a game. So what, how I'm going to react to that. Right. Um, how, how I'm going to move on to a next play. I used to be really bad at that. I used to have like problems about moving on to the next play. Yeah. Um, so you need to put that towards working out as well. So you need to picture yourself touching the rim. You need to picture yourself squatting a plate. Um, picture yourself learning your approach, being explosive. Um, before I'd go to bed, I would... And I learned my approach, I think, summer before freshman year. Yeah. And, and <laughs> my dad had me on these squares because we have squares on our tile. And yeah. he'd say, step on this one and then right left on these two squares. And so I would do that on the daily. And then before going to bed, you just keep visualizing it. And that's what you got to do with working out, plays, how you react to your emotions in a game. Yeah. A lot of it is visualization. But you also need to be very committed. Like, I stay on diets. I'm not, like, the biggest dude. But, like to jump high i didn't want to gain weight and be all right you know so i wanted to be a really strong guy and being on a diet working out hard dedication visualization that all helped a lot so for sure and uh i'm glad you said visualization i'm a baseball player uh and that was a lot about it it's what am i going to do the next play it's not Mm -hmm. what what's going to happen now or yes or what had happened like you said you had you had you learned how to kind of push the bad plays away and move on but yeah, it's it's you need to think ahead. It's not it's not in the moment. As yeah. much as as much as it is in the moment, it's not because you need to understand where you need to be, what you need to do going forward. So for sure, I'm glad I'm yeah. glad you said that, and I'm glad you said that. It's not only on the court; it's off the court as well. Exactly. Yeah, like before bed, you gotta yeah. you gotta use um, time to your advantage, which yeah. I think I always did really well with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I already asked you that question. So obviously this year, actually, no, first, what, what made you choose? I know you said the, the coaches kind of welcomed you in, uh, but you're going to Illinois. You know what I mean? Yeah. What did you visit that school? And how, yes. if you did, how'd you like it? I loved it. Weather was cold as heck. I love, <laughs> I love cold weather. It was yeah. super cold. Um, doesn't snow, which is actually a bonus. Yeah. Um, now the campus is great. The coaches are great. Um, and now, and then I had to look at the competition. I, right. since I'm very dedicated, I was getting a lot of D2, D3s, uh, really competitive NAIAs. Right. Um, but I, I was just looking at something more. And so when Illinois had, had 
looked at me and they were, and then I saw that they were the, in the MIVA conference. I, um, it almost took me right there. I was like, Oh yeah, right. I, I have to, if they're having this kind of competition and they want me, mm-hmm. you know, where they play ball state, um, they go in, they go in the Santa Barbara tournaments, stuff like yeah. that. I'm like, okay. Like yeah. if, if they believe I can do this and obviously I do, I mean, I was co- I was contacting D one coaches that weren't even contacting me back. Right. Like I would send them more than one. It was probably annoying, but yeah. they weren't interested. And so they went text back. Um, but then coaches gave me a card and then I saw, I, I was like, Oh my gosh, where are they? You know? And then once I saw the competition, they kind of sold me there. Um, right. even though I did visit, uh, other colleges, I had to, uh, just to look into it. Right. And it, 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 it was there, you know, when the competition yeah. was there and then the school was great. They had what I wanted. Was yeah. It. Yeah, for sure. Um, now I looked up their schedule real quick. Uh, it says they play GCU. Is that is conference or was that just a um, day? I think, okay. I think that was just a game because I think, well, let me think. Okay. I don't think they're in the, I don't think they're in the conference. I think yeah. GCU is in a, is in a higher conference than them, which is like all the Cali schools and right. all the very high top 15 uh, yeah. D1 schools. But yes, they do play them. Yeah. And that was actually a school I wanted to go to. I went to their camps. Coaches liked me, but they, they probably just didn't see me as a, a – oh, but funny story. So GCU coaches, I met them, went to a lot of camps. They, they must have not seen me as a good fit for their school. Yeah. So, but, but the GCU coach actually recommended me to McKendry, oh, to the McKendry cool. coach. They, cool. they were like, you're going to love this kid. Um, I, went to a, I went to a GCU camp and actually won what they call the Gatorade Award. Okay. I won a necklace with a big Gatorade, like metal uh, <laughs> sucker. It, it has some weight to it. Um, I won a backpack, and it was awesome. They, they, gave, they gave shirts to all these other kids, and then they said there was going to be a main Gatorade award for the kid who showed most heart, um, you know, worked the hardest, basically, like the whole tournament, and right. they gave it to me. So I thought that was huge. Yeah, And then, sure, sure enough, they, they handed me over to McKendry. McKendry saw me looked at me, loved me, and I love the coaches. So it, it, awesome. I'm just climbing up the ladder, which I think is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, speaking on that, I know if uh, you guys do come down to Phoenix and, and play uh, at GCU, I know Pueblo will show up. Uh, heck, oh, Tucson yeah. <laughs> might show up. I know Castillo will be showing up, and uh, the yeah. Rush family will be showing up. So that gym will, be, a, that gym will be wild. I've had a lot of support, even on even, um, – even kids from other schools who either I know or I've kind of played with. Um, so there's a school down here named Flowing Wells, and I know some of the parents. And they were even texting me, and they were like, when you come down to play GCU, because everyone knows that McKendry plays GCU in the season, yes. um, they are like, we're going to watch you, let us know. Mm-hmm. So much support from, like, a lot of people. Yeah, and, and for sure. And a lot of players, a lot of players as well. So yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be really cool, man. And I know, yeah. uh, I know your Rush family and our Castillo boys will be – Oh, yeah. there cheering on so Heck that'd, yeah. that'd be fun uh let's see what else we got okay so obviously this year season ends um mm-hmm. early on uh one did you guys get to play any games at all i know we had three and we had a tournament so did you have any games uh any tournaments and were you kind of able to say goodbye to your guys okay so we had around four games i want to say in the season Maybe more, it's possible. We actually were undefeated. <laughs> we didn't play the toughest of Tucson, but we played some, we played some uh, difficult teams. Uh, but yeah, we took them out. We, and then there was a TUSD tournament. Um, and that TUSD tournament, uh, and this is funny because Pueblo, this year, we lost seniors. Uh, we lost some really good seniors. And then this year, it was like me and three other guys. And like one of the guys was new, and two of the guys um, have played. Uh, a couple years back as well. So we didn't think we were going to be the, the greatest team this year. We had the heart. The, even these new guys who came in, they had heart. They learned yeah. their approach. They were trying to hit balls as hard as they could. Um, and we actually took the 2SD championship, which was awesome. Yeah. It, was, it was an accomplishment. Now, ALA, uh, ALA usually comes uh, with Coach Tim. I don't know yep. if you know Coach yep. Tim. Yep. Um, with coach tim and they usually come they didn't this year i think maybe there were some complaints about how they're not usd so why why are they coming blah 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 um but yeah we took it this year and that was amazing now we didn't expect not really many people expected us to win or us us to really have anybody um but 
my name is pretty well known around Tucson. Um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of parents who know, oh, it's Cameron, but it wasn't only me. I, I didn't play my main position this year. I played setter and opposite. Okay. Um, reason being uh, my left knee, just a little iffy. So I was, de- I was deciding, okay, this year I'll take, I'll take it easy. Right. And so I was setting and my other teammates came through. Like it wasn't right. even me. Like everyone knew my name and knew what I was doing, but it was also my teammates who pulled through. So I was very, very proud of them. Now, we didn't really get to say goodbye. There hasn't been a, a chance to for like a team to come together and say goodbye. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that, that's that with, uh, you know, the coronavirus kind of interrupting the season. I didn't yeah. get to say bye to them. I, I see one of them, our outside hitter. I play sand with him when I can. Okay. Yeah. So, um, now of course your knee was, was bothering you. Uh, but was you already being committed kind of part of that, uh, yes. situation where yeah. you just kind of gave, gave it a little rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to go out on rush when rush comes in again. And hopefully we can we can continue our club, but um, I was like I also have I also have um, college, so yeah. I need to rest. And and this quarantine has been a secret, uh, a blessing in disguise for me because I am able to work out, do physical therapy stuff, which I yeah. have been. This this quarantine has not been lazy for me. It's been right. like hard work and more vis- a lot of visualization and watching film because I can't I can't really go out and play, so I might as well just keep thinking of things that I do and, um, and go and play sand. I've been playing sand a couple of times. Which yeah. Is awesome. Uh, with some guys. So, That's so yeah, awesome. that, yeah. So it, it's kind of, it's kind of good for me that I get to rest my knee until, um, college and for sure start being really strong again. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, being a D one athlete, it's, it's awesome to hear like this, <laughs> this pandemic is awful. It's no yeah. fun but you know there's still bigger and better things to come, so you're grinding, and that's that's great to hear. Um, Yeah, and – oh, God. Oh, no, you go ahead. Okay, Um, so with with this whole thing happening, um, the 2020 uh, graduates in college, some of them are coming back because Mm -hmm. of NCAA rules. Right. So I'm actually – the guys who are supposed to graduate in 2020 are actually coming back. Okay. And that means bigger team, more competition, which is awesome. Right. But there's that means also in teams like Hawaii or Ben uh, I'm sorry not Ben uh what is it uh BYU mm-hmm. Long Beach that means their really good seniors are coming back right. right so that's even crazier you know what I mean oh, yeah. so I think all of it is just gonna make me work even harder mm-hmm. yeah you'll see you'll see a lot of good uh, ballers out there that'll be cool yeah it's gonna be awesome um, all right so what what would your advice be to younger kids? Um, either just in the sport or even coming through uh, Pueblo, what would your advice be that, uh, to them just to work at their volleyball game? Um, I think my, my main advice would be don't, don't listen. Don't listen to like the outside world and just, and uh, keep working hard. Yeah. Uh, re- reason being, especially if you're an underdog. Um, uh, when I grew up, people told me to just be a setter because of how short I was. People told me not to be a hitter. Um, and I remember telling this one guy at a little tournament, he's, he was like, where do you plan on going? And this was a long time ago. I was like, I want to play D1. And he chuckled at me and he said, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was, I, and I took that as a challenge. So now I also got a ton of support. I did. I'm blessed with that. But you need to just be in your own, you need to be in your own mind and you need to grind for what you want. And yeah. you, need to, you need to even do research on what you want. Like right. vol- volleyball, the, I learned my jump serve before freshman year because it's what I wanted. Yeah. So you need, you need to just go after what you want. Yeah. I don't really know. I don't know how more to explain that. But, no, that, that was great. You know. And, and just speaking on that is, is the biggest thing about negative people is jealousy. Mm-hmm. So if you, yeah. if you, if you see this kid, like, Oh, he's, we'll say five, eight at the time. And, yeah. and, and he's, cocky as all get out and he's like i'm going d1 the first thing you're gonna do is say yo no you're not you know why because that person that said no you're not won't have that chance so what so what better way for them to feel good about themselves than to knock someone else down yeah and that guy that told me that he was one first of all he's at a co-ed tournament (laughs) then he was he was out of he was out of high school and just playing it for the fun of it and i was i was uh probably summer before sophomore year that it was that tournament and 
on a co-ed net. I was killing it. And, right. and then he says, oh, good luck, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Before, the, before my final question, I just want to touch back on uh, what you said. And uh, shoot, I'm, I'm actually losing track of what you said. <laughs> it's not. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> no worries. Take time. Shoot. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. All right. So I'll ask the last question. Okay. And I'll, I'll remember it as we're doing. So uh, let's go. Uh, it can be a couple of memories, but what's your favorite memories from uh, playing volleyball? Oh, man. Can it, it, it like volleyball in general? Yep. Okay. Um, favorite memory. It'll, man, it'll, it might have to be with Rush because those guys kind of changed it for me. Yeah. Um, an amazing coach who had, who had coached with, um, or had, had coached for a lot of very good athletes um, that had come out of um, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. um, I had great players that are very competitive. Uh, Kyler, Justin, um, Marius, Hiram. Uh, I think joining that team and that whole experience is probably my favorite memory of, um, of, uh, of ball. Because, and, then, and then being able to go to Chicago with them, is awesome. Being able right. to go to Cali, Cali with them was awesome. Going to Cali with APV and like seeing all these other players, that's probably one of my favorite memories as well. Like my first time going yeah. to Cali into the convention center, seeing a hundred courts, yeah. seeing all these D1 Balboa Bay athletes, uh, just amazing. But, right. um, but yeah, I think, I think Rush has to take that number one spot because they've been nothing but family and oh, it's made us so much stronger. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Um, it's kind of funny because being in Rush, then, then we beat APV, and then we beat a lot of teams that we didn't think we were going to beat, and we blew everyone's mind away. When we were in the finals, people were asking, who's Rush? Because yeah. Rush was in 12th place last right, year. And right. we, we were up there in the top five, so yeah. that was awesome. Yeah, and, uh, like, when I, when I saw that Rush team, it was, it was legit. And all, like, if you wanted to put an all-star team from 5A out there, <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was pretty dang close. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so. what, what was I going to say? Um, yeah. Lo oh, oh, a lot of people have said we're such like a power team, which we are. Right. We're also a very good defensive team. Sometimes it's off, but all around it's really good. Um, and actually in the nation, um, we found that at power rankings, we're actually 17th in the nation or something yeah. like that. So, right. Like that, that's how much like, like how many kills we get, how many aces. Like we're that kind of team, which I thought yeah. is so cool. Oh, like, yeah. Super high. Oh yeah, when you, when you and Hiram are opposite each other, that's just that's. Oh stupid. man, <laughs> oh man, yeah. Hiram is such a good player, yeah. and that's what I love about Hiram. He's such a good player who's not cocky. Right. And then when I came in, and I was like, because when I came in, everyone was saying, "Oh, Hiram's the man." It was the man. I yeah. was like, oh, "Oh crap!" Like this dude's something. <laughs> and then, and then everyone saw me, and then when I started to get used to the rhythm with everybody, they were like, "Oh crap, this yeah. Cameron dude." I, I'm not going to lie. People were calling me the man. And, and I was like, how is Hiram going to react to that? Hiram was nothing but like loving. And he's yeah. like, dude, you're freaking insane. And he, he'd call me better than him, but I'd say you're better than me. Yeah. We, right. did, we have a, a, a lovely brother relationship. Yeah. So yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, I, shot, I shot him a text earlier. I said, hey, your boy's camp. Your boy Cam's coming on the show at five. <laughs> yes. And he, he's actually busy today, but he's like, yo, I'll check it out after. And he's bummed he's missing yeah. it. But, um, well, at least he gets to watch it because you yeah. put this on YouTube, right? Yeah, for sure. Sweet. And Instagram's been like making this like an IGTV thing afterwards automatically. Yeah. So it's that's uh -huh. been pretty cool. Um, Sweet. All right. So I remembered what I what I had in mind, <laughs> yeah. um, and I don't know why I blanked. But uh, so for anyone watching, uh, Cam's a D one volleyball player, and uh, he's been talking about uh, just having heart, having full heart, um, having vision, uh, having hunger, and. Uh, Another thing he said was research is what I was trying to think of. Mm -hmm. You said you did the research to become yeah. a D1 player. It's yeah. not – kids will just think, hey, I'm a great player. I'm going D1. Mm -hmm. Well, why are you going D1? What are you doing to go D1? Yeah. Your skill's not enough. Um, your grades aren't enough. Mm -hmm. If you want to go D1, you have to put in – like you said, you're, you're – texting emailing coaches left and right whether they're responding or not you're yeah. putting yourself yeah. out there you're you going to. to these camps um and you're 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 you literally made a d1 um program send you to another d1 program like hey we don't see a yeah. fit for him here now but 
yeah. I, like we played you guys. You guys need an OH. Like pick it's this awesome. kid up, yeah. you know. So I'm glad you said that. You said a lot of a lot of things that I think would help a lot of kids out uh, in this in this little podcast. So I appreciate uh, your wisdom and your words. Um, of course, of course. So, but uh, I'll end it on that, man. So I'm gonna try to get Sweet. that name. I'm gonna try to get that name right again. But <laughs> yeah, Fibres. It's kind of yeah. hard to say. It's weird. Fibres. I don't I think I've corrected it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you for coming on, though, man. It's been great talking. I appreciate to you. you for having me. I really right, appreciate man. it. It was it All was right. a blessing when you told me to have me. Yeah, so. awesome. Well, yeah. W- once again, I'm Tyler Milbert. I'm here with Cam Fibres, and this is Inside the Mind of an Athlete. All right, take care, Cam. Later, man. You have a good one. You too.